The recent news of Donald Trump's indictment on charges related to the mishandling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago and his alleged obstruction of the investigation has prompted several of his rivals in the race for the 2024 Republican nomination to respond. These candidates wasted no time in sharing their thoughts on the matter, as Trump currently holds the front runner position in the GOP primary. Here's what some of the contenders had to say about the indictment. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis took to Twitter to express his concerns about the weaponization of federal law enforcement and the threat it poses to a free society. DeSantis pointed out the uneven application of the law based on the political affiliation, questioning why Trump is being aggressively pursued while other individuals such as Hillary Clinton or Hunter Biden have seemingly faced less scrutiny. DeSantis vowed to bring accountability to the Department of Justice DOJ, eliminate political bias, and put an end to this weaponization. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, on the other hand, adopted a more cautious approach. He emphasized the importance of relying on factual information when evaluating the situation and refrained from drawing conclusions until the details of any possible indictment were released. Christie asserted that nobody should be above the law regardless of their desires, and pledged to provide further commentary once the facts were revealed. Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson expressed concern about the impact of Trump's indictment on the strength of American democracy. Hutchinson believed that Trump's actions, which he considered to be in disregard of the Constitution and the rule of law, should not define the nation or the Republican Party. While acknowledging Trump's right to the presumption of innocence, Hutchinson felt that the ongoing Criminal proceedings would be a major distraction and called for Trump to respect the office and end his campaign. Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina highlighted the importance of confidence in the justice system as a fundamental aspect of American society. He expressed his belief that the scales of justice should be balanced and impartial, rather than weighted in favor of any particular individual or group. Scott pledged that if elected as president, he would work to rectify any injustices and impurities in the system, ensuring that every American could have faith in a blindfolded lady of justice. Entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy raised concerns about the existence of two tiers of justice, one for Trump and another for President Biden. He emphasized the need for fairness and equality under the law. Ramaswamy also questioned the president's authority to declassify documents and the legality of overclassifying federal documents. He believed these matters should be resolved in the courts. Ramaswamy acknowledged that it would be easier for him to win the election if Trump were not in the race, but he prioritized principles over politics. He made a commitment to pardon Trump on January 20, 2025, and to restore the rule of law in the country. Perry Johnson a long-shot GOP candidate from Michigan, took to Twitter to highlight the potential severity of punishment for espionage. He called on every GOP candidate to clarify whether they would pardon Donald Trump if elected as president. Notably, former Vice President Mike Pence and Nikki Haley, Trump's former ambassador to the United Nations and ex-South Carolina governor, have not yet publicly commented on the indictment. Pence did express his hope for a way to move forward without a divisive step of indicting former president. The indictment of Donald Trump has sparked a range of reactions among his Republican rivals. While some have criticized the alleged weaponization of federal law enforcement and called for accountability, others have emphasized the importance of due process and the need to uphold the rule of law. The coming months will reveal how this indictment shapes the dynamics of the 202.